I'm going to show you how to download, install and use OneDrive on Windows 10. So let's start right now. OneDrive is an application which you can install on a Windows, an iOS or an Android device. If it's installed on a Windows computer, the application will copy files from selected folders to a cloud location. These files will then be accessible from any other device signed in with your Microsoft user. They will even be accessible without the application by signing in to the OneDrive website. Let's start by opening this website. The link is in the description below. And click the download button. Open the file once the download is complete. OneDrive installation and the update will start automatically in the background. If you are signed into Windows with a Microsoft user, it will automatically log you into OneDrive. Otherwise, use a Microsoft user to log in. Clicking the Help and Settings button will open a menu. Some of the items in this menu are worth mentioning. The Open your OneDrive folder option will open the local OneDrive folder on your computer. This folder will be created under your user folder. Usually something like this. Any file you save in this folder or any of the subfolders will be synced. The settings will obviously open the settings window. View online will open the OneDrive website containing all your synced files. Let's click the settings option and see what's inside. Under the account tab, you have the ability to add another account in addition to the one you already have. Of course, assuming you have one. The choose folders button will show you a list of the synced folders and will allow you to check or uncheck each of these folders. The base location is shown here. The settings tab has a list of options. Go over them to fine tune the way OneDrive works. The manage backups will show you the status of your backed up files and will allow you to initiate a manual backup. In the Network tab, you have the option to limit the upload and download speed. The Office tab is referring to syncing of Microsoft Office files while sharing with other people. And the About tab shows you the OneDrive version and build. Here are some things you should know about OneDrive. Every file has a small icon next to it to indicate its status. A cloud icon means this file is available online. Activating this file will download a copy to your device. A checkmark icon indicates this file is on your local device and is also available online. Here's a tip. The desktop folder is not actually your desktop. This is my desktop. Look what happens when I create a file in the OneDrive desktop folder. It's created locally and synced, but is not on the desktop. Deleting it will show a pop-up message indicating that files that are deleted will no longer be available. Look what happens when I create a file on my actual desktop folder. I can immediately see it on my desktop, but there's no sync icon. So what can you do to have the desktop files sync? Right-click your desktop folder and click Properties. Now, click the Location tab and click the Move button. Basically, the idea is to move the desktop folder to a location under the OneDrive folder. Browse to the new location for the desktop folder and click Select Folder. When you click Apply, you will see the old location and the new one. Click Yes to proceed and choose whether to replace files in case there are duplicates. Click OK to close this window. As you can see, the desktop folder is no longer under the user folder. It's now under the OneDrive folder. Now, if I create a file in this folder, it appears on the desktop 
and is synced to OneDrive. Deleting this file from the desktop will delete it from OneDrive and will show you the deletion pop-up. Enjoy using OneDrive to backup and sync your files. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to make more videos like this one or if you have any thoughts or suggestions regarding this application. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified when a new video is published. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.